Did you know that when you hear an attorney tell you they're going for jury selection in a civil lawsuit involving an accident matter or medical malpractice matter or even a wrongful death matter, the term jury selection is really what we call a misnomer. You want to know what it should be called? Come join me for a moment as I share with you exactly what it should be called. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And what it should be called is jury deselection. Why is that? It's because when we walk into a room filled with 25 or 30 people, members of the community, who have been summoned to court to serve jury duty, we don't go in there and say, okay, I want jurors number one, two, and seven, and 25. That's not how it works. Because then the defense would want to do the same exact thing. It doesn't work that way. Instead, each attorney has an opportunity to talk to these potential jurors. We want to try and find out if they're leaning one way or another, if they're closer to one set of facts or to another. Now, the jury room is not the place to try our case. Instead, it's an opportunity for us to try and learn something about each of these potential jurors, to find out about their background, to learn what their hobbies are, to learn if they've had any problems similar to what our client has been through. And then by exploring that information, we get a better sense as to whether or not this person can be fair and impartial and sit in judgment on your particular case. Did you know that each attorney has a certain number of opportunities to remove those people they don't want without having to give any reason whatsoever? Legally, that's known as a peremptory challenge. So typically, each attorney has three opportunities, three peremptory challenges, to remove people from that jury room whom we don't like, who are not good for our jury. And what are you left with? The people who are left in the jury box are the ones who now become your jury. So jury selection is not really going into a room and saying, yes, I want juror number one, number two, number five, and number seven. It doesn't work that way. Instead, we turn around and say, okay, juror number three, you're excused. Juror number seven, you're excused. Juror number four, you're excused. And now we're left with the remaining people and they become part of our jury. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what really goes on in these civil lawsuits here in New York. You know, I understand you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but you haven't done so yet because you have questions that need to be answered first, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.